Michelle, yeah. I just want to congratulate you and the cast and the staff mm -hmm. for a superb show. Thank you very much. And uh, my, my question for you is, is, what reservations did you possibly have before you started on this fantastic adventure? <laughs> I think first was that we actually had the stamina to, to pull it all together. It's, it's not just that it's huge and we have all these elements to pull together early on, but it's to be able to consistently keep that level of energy up, take it all the way to the end. And certainly about a week and a half out, two weeks, I think all of us seemed a little bit, oh God, I mean, I said, let's just keep pushing forward. We have one final push, like kind of giving birth, you know? <laughs> just when you feel like you want to stop, you kind of, all right, so, that's a bad analogy. So but. when you decided you were going to do cats, that was your main concern, was just having a cast having the energy to be able to go all the way through the whole production. And the crew. I mean, the, the cast has been phenomenal. And from day one, they bared down and were ready to get to work. And they actually did conditioning three days a week to build up their stamina and their strength. And uh, because, I mean, they're moving the entire show. How did so. you choose your staff, that, which was very important? Your costuming, uh, the, the music director, uh, uh, choreography. How did you go about uh, uh, putting your whole staff together? Well, I think based on people I had already worked with. I had never worked with Philip Lee or Liz Ranke, who are both really, really excellent choreographers. Um, but just put thought into what their background was and are they willing to step in and, and work on the show, which was one of the other reservations I had about it, putting the show together is who the heck are we going to get to do all this work? I mean, it's it's not, I mean, every, every job is always big in theater, you know that. but. There is no, there was nothing small about any element of this show. So I just really um, had to put a lot of thought into their level of expertise plus their stamina and if they were willing to see it all the way through. So Kathy Versati, who did costumes, and Joe Rice, when you first asked them if they wanted to be on board, mm -hmm. there was no hesitation. None. Oh, no. <laughs> no, no, no. Zero. I mean, this is Joe's 28th show, I believe. So, and Kathy's, I don't know, 128 plus or more. What important lesson did you learn from this production? You've done a lot of uh, directing, mm -hmm. but what about this particular show are you going to walk away with? What memory are you going to hold on to? I think the biggest thing I'll walk away with is what a group of really focused individuals can do with something that we were told really we shouldn't and couldn't do. I think I'm going to walk away with a renewed sense of respect and admiration for community theater, particularly this community theater. Are you surprised at the success that Katz has had here at Old Town Playhouse? Yes, but only because I know there are people out there who don't like the show. So in the back of my mind, I was thinking, well, you know, people had never seen the show and they may come expecting something different, like a music, like musical theater, dialogue, music, dialogue, music, and then become sort of disappointed when they didn't get that and they might walk out. I just, I know people who told me to my face, oh, I walked out of Cats, I won't be coming to your show. I'm like, oh, God, there's a lot of them. Yeah, my, yeah that's, so that's why I'm a little surprised. I notice you have a big cat sitting on the left of you. I do. Would you be able to introduce this big cat? Who, who is this cat and what is his name? This is Old Deuteronomy, played by Don Cox, who was also our um, horse in the Full Monty. So not new to the OTP stage, but certainly our, uh, one of my very favorites, Don Cox. Thank you, Sean. Don? Yes. What, what favorite moment in the play do you have personally and why? Why is it your favorite moment? It's the conversion of Grisabella to being a likable cat. Uh, after being vilified by the rest of the cats, uh, to be very uh, aggressively, as you may have noticed in, in the play. And at the very end, uh, being redeemed and becoming um, the next cat to proceed to appear side later to become the next, uh, the next in line for eternity. <laughs> Most beautiful moment. Well, you make one outstanding, very, very noticeable cat in this production. Thank you. And uh, uh, we, we have to uh, move this along. Mm -hmm. We're on a fast track on this interview. Yes, yes, sorry. What, what's, what message would you give to any other directors and theaters out there mm -hmm. that would possibly be thinking about doing cats. What what message would you say to them? What would what, what would be a helpful suggestion to them? I would say really when it really seems like it's not gonna happen, that's the time to you know, 
dig your heels in and really get to work. Not stop, don't, don't question whether you should have done it or could have done it, you're already doing it. And just keep moving forward, no matter how hard it gets, no matter how difficult it may seem. Maybe there were days where we rehearsed five, six nights a week. In fact, the whole month we went six nights a week. You know, at the times when you think this is never going to happen, is time to smile and really start working even harder because the reward is there. But just don't lose faith and don't lose, don't lose uh, hope and faith in your cast and the crew that you've put together. You know, never my faith was in this cast and crew was unshakable. And I think if we had been shaken even a little bit, yeah, there was moments where it felt like, holy, what have we done? We should never be doing this. But I think um, that's those moments where you really feel like, no, this is, we can do this. We already are doing it. We're this close. Let's just keep going and show everybody else that, no, we can do this. In doing Cats, you've, done, you've directed a lot of shows and a lot of great shows. Mm -hmm. How would you rate Cats in comparison to all the other plays that you have directed as far as uh, complexity, challenge, just the, 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 the uh, absolute uh, uh, trudgery of work that goes into a terrific, fantastic show. Well, it's always going to be from now Cats and then everything else. So, mm -hmm. yeah, it's definitely a number Is one. this the pinnacle? It is, I think, because it was much more than we had ever, not just me, but this group, this cast, this crew, plus this playhouse and its 50-year sort of history had never taken a bite of this thing. And so, yeah, it, there's a sense of well, man, if we did Cats, not just me, but we did Cats, we can do anything. Well, you know, this 50th year anniversary of the Old Town Playhouse, hey, mm -hmm. first two shows, Sell out. two big hits. I know. I mean, fantastic. wow. <laughs> yeah, so I would definitely say this one's number one. And because another reason is that this show came to us, and as maybe people don't understand, is uh, this show comes with no script. So a lot of things that we do or that you've seen people do or it's a different cast do is really, really conjecture or something based on a cast before that had created and before that and it's all just perpetuated itself over the last almost 30 years of it running somewhere in the world. So it's definitely number one. Well, I thank you. I thank you both. This is the very first time that I've ever seen Cats in mm -hmm. a full production on stage mm -hmm. and I was very very impressed. See, that's why I say it's, it's a success. Thank you, Thank you very much.